Welcome into RedRaiders.com. I'm Krista Pertle here at the USA where Texas Tech just dropped a game to number six West Virginia, 80 to 76 in the final really 54 seconds of the game in that time period. West Virginia went on an 8-0 run to seal the victory over Texas Tech. Now if you were watching this game and saw the first two minutes, you probably thought, well, strap in fellas, this is going to be a long afternoon. Texas Tech could not get an offensive possession because the Red Raiders kept turning it over against the West Virginia press. They really struggled to get it down the floor and to actually shoot the ball towards the basket. But finally, Texas Tech put things together and got things going. If you watched any of the first half, you saw Zach Smith hit his head on the backboard, have two crazy slam dunks. C.J. Williamson also joined the slam dunk party with a huge one of his own. So that was great for Texas Tech and their energy. They ended up leading West Virginia 43-40 at the half in the second half game. And Texas Tech just wasn't shooting as well. After going 4 of 6 from the three-point line in the first half, Texas Tech was 0 of 9 from deep. So that was huge for the Red Raiders. However, throughout this whole game, Texas Tech shot 32 of 34 from the free throw line. That really kept the Red Raiders into this game. Now, afterwards, a lot of people in the in the post-game press conference, excuse me, we're talking about, man, all these free throws, that really messed up the flow of the game. Well, it was kind of like a game back at the beginning of the season where the refs were trying to say, hey, we're going to keep calling these hand-checking calls, and that's what they did in this game. Two years ago, those calls wouldn't have been made. Instead, the, the referees are sticking with the changes that have been made. So that was a good sign there. Yes, a lot of free throws, but Texas Tech got almost half their points from the free throw line. Also, off the bench, Texas Tech had 40 points. Zach Smith started, played 36 minutes. That's only four minutes that he had to breathe. And he finished with a career high 18 points. Todrick Gocher with 12. Justin Gray, Aaron Ross, once again, strong off the bench with 11 points each. I mentioned C.J. Williamson before, but Jordan Jackson also had a great game with three assists to zero turnovers against his West Virginia team. And if you want anything else on Texas Tech basketball or this game, check out LubbockOnline.com and RedRaiders.com. I'm Krista Pirtle. Thanks for watching.